Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get started using StarkNet. For those who just recently joined, StarkNet is a permissionless decentralized rollup focused on bringing scale to Ethereum. To interact with the StarkNet ecosystem, you're going to need a StarkNet wallet. And this wallet is going to allow you to store tokens, mint NFTs, deploy contracts and dApps on StarkNet, and more. Quick disclaimer though, this guide won't cover how to set up an Ethereum Layer 1 wallet, so if you haven't done that already, be sure to set one up. And it's also not advice on whether or not to install a wallet and what to use it for, it's simply a tutorial. Okay, so the first step is to install a browser extension or mobile wallet that supports StarkNet. There are a couple of StarkNet specific smart wallets that you can choose from, such as for example ArgentX, Bravos, Metamask, OKX, and more, each with their own features. After installing your chosen StarkNet wallet, open it up and create a new account. The wallet will handle all the complex cryptography in the background. Now you'll get a 12 or 24 word recovery seed phrase and be sure to store this in a safe place because you'll need it if you ever want to restore your account. This is where the awesome feature called account abstraction kicks in. Every wallet on StarkNet is essentially a smart contract. And smart contracts are computer programs that execute actions based on rules set by their creators. This is great for UX as it allows the wallets to use more advanced features like the familiar two-factor or even three-factor authentication methods like face ID, email authentication, hardware signers, and many other innovative features. Users shouldn't have to worry about blockchain specifics any more than Instagram users care about which AWS services run it. So thanks to this native account abstraction infrastructure, StarkNet wallets can entirely shift their focus on UX. Okay, moving on. Once your wallet account is set up, you'll see your public StarkNet address. This address can be used to receive funds and interact with StarkNet dApps. You can think of it as your StarkNet bank account number that you can share with others. Then, in order to get funds, visit this link to bridge Ether from Ethereum to StarkNet. There, you can connect your chosen wallet, specify the transaction, and confirm it. Starkgate then confirms your transaction and displays its status, including two links to Etherscan and StarkScan, allowing you to view your transaction on both Ethereum and StarkNet. And in the meantime, your wallet should show you your updated balance. And that's it! You're now ready to start using StarkNet's diverse and growing ecosystem. But keep in mind, do your own research. Alright, have a nice day! Bye!